This video will teach you how to factor special polynomials, including perfect squares and difference of squares. So, what is a perfect square trinomial? Well, it's a trinomial that can be written in the form of a plus b, all squared, and when expanded would be the first term squared plus the second term squared plus the product of each term doubled. And we can also show that in the box method by drawing our box and dividing into quadrants. Say the side lengths would be a plus b and a plus b. a times a gives us a squared. a times b gives us ab. a times b gives us ab once again. And b times b gives us b squared. Simplify our box to give us the polynomial a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So ultimately, if you can write a polynomial in the form of a plus b all squared, that will be a perfect square. So in this example, we're asked to factor x squared minus 4x plus 4. Write out your brackets for each binomial first. And first, we're going to ask, what is the square root of x squared? And that answer is going to be used as the first term in each binomial, so that will be x and x. For the second term in each binomial, we're going to say, what is the square root of 4? That will be 2 and 2. And now we have to choose our sign so that we multiply to get a positive 4 and add to get a negative 4. That means each sign has to be negative. We can simplify this and write x minus 2 squared since each bracket is the exact same. Let's show this in the box method as well. So draw your box out and divide it up. Okay, the first term in our polynomial is x squared, the last term is 4, and now the other two boxes have to be filled with two factors that will give us negative 4x, which is negative 2x and negative 2x. So let's identify what the side lengths would be so that we can write that as the factored binomial form. x times x gives us x squared. x times negative 2 will give us negative 2x. On top, x times negative 2 will give us negative 2x again, and negative 2 times negative 2 will give us positive 4. And to finish, we just write out the side lengths expressed as binomials, x minus 2 times x minus 2. Our final form, final answer would be x minus 2 squared since each bracket is identical. There's another type of special polynomial called a difference of squares. So what is a difference of squares trinomial? Well, it's something that can be written as a squared minus c squared or an expanded binomial form a minus c times a plus c. Let's go ahead and look at our first example, x squared minus 4. Okay a, b, and c of each quadratic equation, identify those. a equals 1, c equals negative 4, and notice that there's no x term, so b is going to equal 0, and that's when we know we're dealing with a difference of squares, when b equals 0. So to write out a difference of squares, you're going to rewrite the equation first, x squared minus 4, and write out the brackets for each binomial. And difference of squares always has a negative as one sign and a positive as the other sign. Okay, what is the square root of x squared? And that will be the first term in each binomial, x and x. Now what is the square root of 4? That will be the second term of each binomial, which is 2 and 2. So there's our final answer. The examples asked us to factor x squared minus 9. Begin by writing out the brackets for each binomial and say, what is the square root of x squared? And that will be the first term of each binomial, x and x. Now what is the square root of 9? That will be the second term in each binomial, 3 and 3. So your final answer is x minus 3 times x plus 3. The second example asks us to factor 25 n squared minus 16. Okay, notice first that there's a coefficient in front of the n squared term. We're dealing with 25 n squared, so write out your brackets. And since it's a difference of square, you have a negative and a positive. What is the square root of 25 n squared? And that will be 5n for each binomial. Now, what is the square root of 16? That is going to be 4. 
So your answer will be 5n minus 4 times 5n plus 4. There you go. I hope you liked this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below what video ideas you'd like to see. And please subscribe to the How To Scholar for more how-to videos.